Did you know that because of three Muslim brothers, an entire country was saved from being executed by the Portuguese the day the executions were set to take place? You see, in 1453, the Muslims managed to tear down the walls of Constantinople, capturing the city and later renaming it Istanbul. And because Istanbul was the connecting point between Asia and Europe, trade routes going back as far as China were disrupted and European nations were no longer able to get silk and spices with the prices that they used to get. The Portuguese were the last in line for any trade going across the two continents and because of that they were the one of the poorest nations in Europe and so they decided to see if there was another way to get to India and China around the Ottoman Empire. They quickly set off going south around Africa and in 1497 the Portuguese finally arrived at the coast of India completing the trade route. Their next goal was to expand their trade routes into Southeast Asia and to do that they needed to set up trading posts and maybe even military bases in the Indian Ocean. And so when they arrived in the Maldives in 1558 they realized that this was the perfect place to occupy right in the middle of the ocean between Africa and Asia. The Portuguese began docking their ships and sending their soldiers ashore quickly overcoming the small local populations of each island killing the Maldivian Sultan in the process. They then installed the puppet king Hassan IX who gladly accepted his role even going as far as to renounce his Islam and call himself by the Portuguese name Dom Manuel. He is the only king in the history of the Maldives to abandon his religion and his people. For the next 15 years, the Portuguese used Dom Manuel to impose their rule on the Maldivian people, exploiting the island's resources and even trying to force the people of the island to convert to Christianity. But they severely underestimated the Maldivians. As the sea grew red with Maldivian blood and the people were sunk into despair, despite all of the oppression that they faced, the people of the Maldives refused to give up their Islam. And it was in this backdrop of Portuguese violence and coercion and terror that one man stood above the rest, becoming a hero of the nation. In 1565, a nobleman by the name of Muhammad Thakrufanu fled the Maldives under the cover of night with his two brothers, Ali and Hassan. The three of them set sail to the Lakadive Islands off the coast of India, where the people there were Muslim and may be able to help them fight off the Portuguese. When they arrived, the locals helped Helped them begin building a new ship that could be used in battle and they gathered a group of skilled fighters that could help them attack the Portuguese. For the next eight years they fought a guerrilla war together against the Portuguese. Each night they would sail to a new island and attack the Portuguese there targeting their garrisons and supply lines and ships and sneaking back into the sea before the break of dawn. As the years went by other people of the Maldives were inspired by their relentless resistance and they too began joining in on the attacks and soon enough the Portuguese were beginning to panic. So they decided there was only one thing left to do. The Portuguese gave an ultimatum to the people of the Maldives. A date was set. Anyone who did not renounce their Islam and accept Christianity by that date was set to be executed. Muhammad Thakurufani was running out of time. They decided they needed to take the main island Malé and they needed to do it now. On the night before the date of execution had arrived, Muhammad Thakurufani and his crew approached the coast of Malé. They snuck inland to where the Portuguese had their garrison and they began taking positions ready to attack from all sides. It was a pivotal moment for him, for his people, for the future of the Maldives. If they failed now, they would be the last Muslims in their lineage. An entire nation would be wiped out and all that would remain would be the few people who abandoned their faith. They had planned and plotted and made the preparations. All they could do now was rely on Allah. Muhammad Thakurufani gave the signal and they attacked at once. It was an intense fight, the clashing of swords and the firing of muskets and the chaos of battle under the cover of night. There was fire everywhere, camps were being burnt to the ground and people were dying. You couldn't see who was your friend and who was your enemy. And by the end of the night, as the dawn was breaking and the first light shone bright, it became clear who remained upright and who had been defeated. It was now 1573. 15 years of Portuguese rule had come to an end. The Maldives were now free. It was a monumental triumph. Muhammad Thakurufani and his forces managed to defeat the Portuguese and drive them out of the Maldives. The puppet king was forced to flee to Goa in India where the Portuguese had their main military headquarters and soon after Muhammad Thakurufani was declared the new Sultan of the Maldives. Under his rule the Maldives experienced a period 
period of stability, prosperity, and a resurgence of Islamic faith and culture like never seen before. Till this day, he is known as a Sultan who was wise and pious and just, protecting the poor and ruling in the people's interests. And after 11 years and six months in power, he passed away in 1585 on the first day of the month of Ramadan. His legacy still lives on in the Maldives, till this day. Like it, follow for more Muslim facts.